Hi guys, welcome back to a new video, not a Boom Beach video, but a Boom Beach Frontlines video. Now, there's been a lot of confusion in the community about this game, and I'm going to clear stuff up for you and also show you a little bit of gameplay. So let's jump into it. So if you haven't been keeping up with the news of this game, basically Boom Beach, or Supercell more generally, gave some of the assets of Boom Beach over to Space Ape, this other company, to make a new game called Boom Beach Frontlines. Now, Boom Beach Frontlines has a Discord server. The link is right here. You guys can go to it, you guys can join, you guys can see these sneak peeks. It's public information. Um, but basically, Boom Beach Frontlines is gonna be going into alpha testing in December. So that means a few people are gonna be able to test the game, not able to record or leak information, but it's gonna be super interesting to see who gets it. So I'm gonna show you the four troops Boom Beach Frontlines has put out. And uh, we're going to be going over it and I have gameplay for each one of them. So we can kind of see what the game looks like from these four sneak peeks. And I have a pretty good idea of what the game is just from these sneak peeks. So first up we have the Assault. Honestly a troop that looks very similar to a troop from Rush Wars. Um, an old Supercell game that got disbanded. This troop has short range, moves very fast, good against snipers, which I guess is either a defense or a different troop. Quick to move, quick to draw. Assault is probably like the Rifleman in Boom Beach, I'm guessing. Um, just like a generic troop that you probably start the game with. Moving over to some gameplay, and this is the first gameplay we saw. Basically, it looks very similar to Brawl Stars very very similar to brawl stars just scrolling through here the movement system looks like brawl stars you have an attacking thing like brawl stars if we zoom in above the health bar okay there's that little white bar that's your reload time so you'll be able to fire until that hits zero and once it hits zero you have to reload and wait for it to regain i'm also guessing the one stands for the level of troop probably or maybe the level of the player there's two teams it looks like a and b up in the corner it looks like it'll be like four minute match where you guys are trying to conquer um, these zones I think you'll see more about the zones in a little bit but from this first gameplay we don't really see too much up here is the damage you deal to the other opponent I don't know if that plays into each battle at all or if it's more kind of for achievement sake assault is a very basic troop so let's move on to the next troop this is the armored car it's not quite like a boom beach tank it's a quick assault vehicle so it moves fast um, it says inexpensive, so I guess the troops you use are um, maybe you have multiple of them or something and you can bring like 15 unit slots into a battle and once one dies, once one unit dies, you can regenerate as a different or you can spawn in a different unit. But it looks like it's going to be more like Brawl Stars where you're managing one unit at a time and not multiple units. So it says good against buildings. You'll see buildings come into factor a little bit later. I don't think players are going to be controlling buildings, but I think each team, or if it's an individual firefight, each um, team will have its own buildings that maybe they can place down however they want. I don't know if it's going to be like there's a headquarters in the corner, you guys are trying to take down the headquarters of the opponent's team, or if it's going to be like Brawl Stars style of matches. The armored car looks like a pretty cool vehicle. If we see here, and we can see a lot from this gameplay. First of all, we see a Zooka and a Medic coming in, which we haven't seen sneak peeks of them yet, but you can see them in battle. Um, I'm just gonna zoom in here and scroll through here. We have a machine gun in the B base. So it says, if we pause it here and we scroll in here, it says B and it's pointing towards this way. Now, if you guys have ever played any sort of like zone capture, video games um, there's some video games where you can um, basically each team has a zone and when you stand in that zone you fill up some bar and then once the bar hits max you basically conquer that zone and the other team has to try to conquer back that zone so i definitely think that's going to be one of the gameplay styles it looks pretty cool the tank looks also pretty cool let's just replay it one more time um it looks like this tank has a set number of fires before it has to reload. You saw there that it took maybe like two seconds to reload, and it also stays still when it's firing. So really good against buildings, but against a troop that moves around you, probably not gonna work as well. Okay, next up we have the heavy. Now we know what the heavy is, slow troop. 
And now it says lots of damage, which I find pretty interesting because the heavy in regular Boom Beach does not deal a lot of damage, but the heavy here does. So I'm a little confused why you're bringing a heavy. Now this goes back, this last sentence, pair him with a medic for a fear, uh, now this last sentence, pair him with a medic for a fearsome combination, kind of makes me think that you will have multiple troops and you can control multiple troops. I don't know how it's gonna work because so far it looks like you're controlling one troop. It might be like Rush Wars where you drop all of your troops down and you just watch them go, but it kind of looks like from the first gameplay I showed you, the assault, it looks like you control your troop, kind of like Brawl Stars, so I don't know. And also here, it looks like we're controlling the troops. So I don't know if your teammate is bringing a medic to support you. That's kind of interesting. If your teammate has to bring a medic to kind of uh, help you out, that would be an interesting idea. Um, then you're kind of developing teams. There's, there's so many videos about, or so many different games that have that gameplay style where you choose your team yourself and you're trying to um, take down the other team or take down some objective. So really not much more information from this sneak peek. The next one is super interesting though, a Scorcher. Now it looks like a blue Scorcher, which is interesting, but super tough, ton of HP, we, kn we know that. And it deals splash damage, full damage through cover. So it looks like it could fire over walls or something and it shoots up area attacks, so splash damage. Okay, so here's a sneak peek. And this is super interesting because we see B at the corner and that's where the zone stuff comes into play. Anyway, the Scorcher dealing area damage, able to take down two troops. Now, obviously, that's such an unrealistic view of the Scorcher because the opponent, if that troop is, if the opponent's troops are stationed there and someone is controlling them, nobody is gonna stand still against the Scorcher and nobody's gonna be back to back like that. But the Scorcher still looks pretty cool dealing the splash damage. Now, I wanna stop here Oops, I want to pause it on a certain, okay. And zoom into B. So it looks like it's a flag. So maybe it's like a capture the flag type of map or gameplay. All these different sneak peeks we've seen, all the different gameplay things we've seen, it's all based around this like A and B team. And there's nothing really like Brawl Stars where you're on your own, at least yet. It just looks like it's, um, the opponent has a base, you have a base, you're trying to take down the opponent's base type of gameplay, which is super interesting. So that's all the sneak peeks I have for you, but I do want to say I'm super excited for this game, and Jimmy and I are definitely going to be making videos on this game as soon as the game comes out of alpha testing. It looks super interesting, we're super pumped, we're big Boom Beach fans, and we're going to be diving into this game, Boom Beach Frontlines, and I think it'll be a blast. We'll still be making Boom Beach content. So don't worry, but I wanted to make a full dedicated video based on everything we know of this game and all the different gameplay styles. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like as always, and I'll put a link to the Discord down below. Bye.